Hello, this is Jeff from Source Audio, and today I want to introduce you to Neuro 3.0. This is a complete top to bottom re engineering of Neuro. That's our free uh, preset sharing and effects editing software. So, when you take a Source Audio pedal out of the box, it works just like a traditional pedal. Uh, you plug it in, turn the knobs a little bit, and it sounds great. But you connect that same pedal to Neuro, and it opens a whole world of possibilities. With Neuro, you can download presets from a growing library of around 10,000 presets created by Source Audio and the Neuro community. So Neuro 3.0 is a culmination of 10 years of experience. We've gathered feedback from hundreds of users of the previous Neuro and taken a long hard look at ways that we can improve it. So after a lot of work, we've got a long list of really fun and useful new features. It's got a sleek and easy to navigate new user interface, uh, streamlined preset downloading, drag and drop preset organization. Uh, it has advanced preset creation, sorting, and sharing capabilities. Uh, there is a seamless user experience from one platform, say an iPhone, to another, say a desktop computer. It has highly interactive features like detailed user profiles and a discussion forum included with every preset listing. So in this video, I just want to give you a quick overview of what is new and cool in Neuro 3.0. So I've connected a Nemesis ADT to Neuro so that you can see this uh, beautiful new layout. Uh, I'll be working with the desktop version, but, but you can rest assured that there is a seamless transition from desktop to mobile. They're, you know, they're one and the same. So whatever you do on one platform carries over to the other. Uh, that includes downloading presets, uh, editing changes, all of your profile information, all your saved presets, just everything. Uh, okay, let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is how easy it is to move presets from places like the community feed and put them directly onto your pedal. So if I click up here on community, it opens my personal feed. Um, See, these are presets from people that I follow, and I'll get into following other creators in, in just a bit. But uh, since I'm connected to the Nemesis Delay, I'm going to pull up only Nemesis Delay presets. So I'll go up here to the filtering sorting tool, open it, and you can see I can sort presets by date or popularity or within a certain date range, but I want to look at all the Nemesis presets. So I just scroll down to the bottom, click on the Nemesis icon, close the window, and now my feed is populated with only Nemesis presets. So if I want to load one of these presets to my pedal, all I need to do is click on the listing and drag it to any of the 128 preset positions. Uh, it's going to ask me to confirm, and yes, I do want to do that. And boom, there it is, loaded to my pedal. And I can also use drag and drop to move around the presets on my pedal. For example, if I want to move preset number seven to the number two position, I'll just grab it, pull it up to position two, and at that point I'm asked whether I want to swap the preset positions or move and replace, and I want to swap. So now you can see that the two presets have changed positions. I can also save any of the community presets to my personal library, which is over here in the cloud presets section. I just open this menu in any of the community presets and select save to library, and it goes straight to my library tab. And the library tab is where I can store all of my favorite presets, and there are a number of ways to organize them. If I click this icon, I can create folders where presets can be stored, uh, you can also group all your presets by pedal. Just click on the pedal I'm using, and I'm shown all of the Nemesis Delight presets that I've got stored in my library. And you can see that there are a few different tabs in the Cloud Preset section. Uh, there are the presets that I have published, uh, liked, there's factory presets, and just like the community feed in the center, I can click on a preset and load it to the pedal editor where I can audition it, or just like with the community feed, I can drag it directly to any of the preset positions on the pedal. Now, as I mentioned before, you can also like any preset by clicking on this heart icon. 
or uh, if I have a question or an observation, I can leave a comment and you know get a conversation going. And I love this new comment feature. I think it really turns neuro into a more interactive and social experience. You know, every published preset essentially becomes a forum for discussion. So who knows where these discussions are going to go, uh, but I think it's going to be fun. And speaking of uh, Neuro's social experience, let's take a look at the user profile section, because uh, we've expanded this quite a bit. So if you want to learn more about, you know, any creator of any preset, just click the three dot icon in the corner of the listing and select get info. This will open up some information about the preset and you just go down to the bottom of the window and click original artist. This will open the creator's user profile and in the profile you can follow the creator. You can also see all of this creator's published presets. Uh, if you click about you can get some stats, you can read their bio and you can also visit any of the uh, social media profiles they choose to share. You know, we think this is a great way for members of the neuro community to share and promote uh, their own music. So to work on your own profile, you just need to click your profile name up at the top, click the three dots and select edit profile. And this is where you would input all that information. And of course, last but not least, there is the sound editor. So when I'm in the sound editor, I like to click these collapse icons in the preset sections. And that will collapse those sections and spread out my editor so that I can easily see all of my controls at once. And this is where you can create presets from scratch or select somebody else's preset and make whatever tweaks you need to customize the sound to meet you know your exact needs. So in the case of the Nemesis Delay, there are six knobs on the face of the pedal. But when you connect to Neuro, it's like adding another 20 plus knobs. Uh, now it's not completely necessary to get in here and edit effects, but if you do, we think you'll find it's you know very easy and intuitive, but uh, it's also just fun. Now once you've made your changes, just hit the save button and select either save as to save it to my library in the cloud or save it directly to any preset position on the pedal. Just select the position, uh, name the preset, hit save, and there it is. Now, if you're really happy with the preset and you want to share it with the rest of the neuro community, just uh, go to the preset in your library, click the three dot icon, and select publish. And now your preset is published to the community feed, and anybody with the pedal can try it for themselves. All right, that's all for today. We hope this gets you started, and we can't wait to hear what all of you do with Neuro 3.0. We think you're going to find it extremely fun and inspiring. Uh, so you can download it right now on our website for Windows or Mac computers, uh, the App Store for iPhone, and Google Play for Android. So have a good day. We'll see you next time. Oh, but wait, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Neuro 3 is just one of three new neuro-related releases we're introducing this year. 2024, we are pushing hard into the realm of collaborative tone creation. So stay tuned, and now I'm done. Bye-bye.